Hello YouTubers, RugMonkey Jr. here, and in today's video I'm gonna give my honest opinion on what I think of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with my impressions from the beta that is now that was live for PC and Xbox. Um, in the past I played a lot of Call of Duty, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, the original one, uh, Call of Duty World at War and Call of Duty Black Ops 1. I played those games a lot, I really enjoyed those, and then I pretty much stopped playing them. Um, it felt like it was recycled every year and my interest in them maybe started to dwindle down quite a bit. In the past few years, the PC versions of Call of Duty have been underwhelming for lack of a better term. Uh, they've always felt like crappy uh, console ports to PC. This year, there was a whole other company that was taking care of the PC version of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And I decided to give it a try during the free open beta weekend. And I have to be honest, despite some of the new things that were added in Call of Duty and some things that were changed and the little bit of innovation that actually uh, is coming with this game, I was quite disappointed with the PC open beta and with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 in general. I made a few points here, some just talking about the game altogether and some specifically talking about the PC version of the game. I can't comment on PS4 or Xbox versions as I have not tried out these versions and they may very well perform better than than the PC version of the game. Now I know, disclaimer, it is a beta, it doesn't represent the final product, but uh, generally speaking, an open beta is a good idea of what the final product might be like with some minor changes here and there before the official release date of the game. So without further ado, let's get stuck right into this. So first and foremost, talking about the game in general, um, I've never really been a fan of the operator classes in COD since Black Ops 3. I just feel like it doesn't suit the playstyle uh, of Call of Duty for which people go and flock towards that game. It just doesn't suit it all that well and I think there are simply too many abilities in which you can get one shot very quickly with very little penalty towards maybe coming back up with your weapon in order to fire some more. There's a lot of easy one shot abilities, a lot of cheesy ways to die and I, I don't, that doesn't bring me back to my good old Call of Duty days where Gunfights and gunplay were the primary way of dealing with your enemies. Nowadays in Call of Duty, you can use a slew of other methods to deal with your enemy, some of which are very annoying. Moving on with the same train of thought, as I said, some abilities are downright annoying, such as the K9 unit, which takes way too many bullets to down. It took me like 10 shots to actually uh, get rid of one of those dogs, and it's not even a kill streak ability, it's just a regular ability that one of the operators has. Also, there's this kind of Hulk smash thing. It's pretty much instant, and it kills you in one shot. There's the flamethrower that for some reason goes through walls. Uh, that is incredibly annoying, and as well as many other uh, class abilities that allow you to see through walls and stuff like that. I feel like it's just it's just not the Call of Duty essence, and it's it deters from actual gunplay and skill in favor of maybe having some nice marketing points with some flashy cinematics and stuff like that. So that that is something that I really didn't enjoy. There are also a lot of cheap ways to win firefights, such as the armor that you are able to equip in one of the uh, equipment slots. That essentially the armor gives you 50 extra uh, hit points in the first firefight of your life. So if you die and you come back, you get again those 50 extra hit points, which brings you to a total of 200 hit points. In a first person shooter like this, I'm never really a fan of classes that have more health than another one. Uh, much like in Battlefield 1, the elite classes I'm not a fan of, as well as the cavalry. They just simply act as a crutch for players who maybe aren't as good as other players to be able to win some firefights. There's also the uh, healing needle, which is good and bad because there is one uh, thing that you can add to your class that makes it so you can heal more often. Also, uh, some of the firefights just end up being just shoot, hide behind a corner, heal real quick, shoot again, hide behind a corner, heal real quick, as opposed to the auto regen of previous Call of Duties. Now, I realize that it is, it is different and innovation is good, but maybe it could have been implemented a little bit better or have a longer cooldown. There's also the ballistic shield with like the auto machine gun sticking out. I didn't really use it, but it is highly frustrating to play against this and it just feels really cheap when you get killed by somebody who is using that specific uh, equipment. Moving on to uh, the movement system, it seems to be very jittery. So I played probably 
four hours of the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta and the movement system re feels really jittery and easy to exploit to win firefights with other players. When moving, like crouch lighting or jumping all over the place or using the grapple hook, the hit detection feels awful. You're, you have your, your aim on the, on the enemy and you're firing at him and nothing is hitting and people jumping around all over the place while shooting. It feels really, really bad uh, and it feels really easy to exploit, as I said, to win firefights over your enemies. The movement system feels a little bit too quick, a lot of ADAD spam, a lot of jumping all over the place. There isn't a whole lot of penalty to actually uh, moving while firing your weapon that's something that probably needs to be looked at as it is quite annoying and I, I, it really feels bad if you've played it you might know what I'm talking about there's a lot of head glitching as well uh, so head glitching if you don't know what that is is hiding behind in a uh, piece of cover and just having your head pop out but still the head is very hard to actually hit uh, that is also very annoying there's also seems to be some sort of auto aim uh, on PC I don't know if it's a setting that I have to change but when I had my crosshairs or I was actually ADSing at an enemy and he was moving around there there seemed to be like some sort of pull on my aim on screen while I wasn't even moving my mouse or when I was moving my mouse and the person was ADAD spamming or actually jumping out of my aim the mouse seemed to try and compensate but I was actually trying to aim and then it was trying to auto compensate it felt very weird the mouse movement was very off so I don't know what was up with that also despite having a relatively high frame rate of between 90 FPS to 120 FPS the game stuttered a lot I know it was an open beta the servers might not have been all that good I had a pretty low ping of like 40 in general but the players seemed to stutter all over the place there was a lot of stuttering when I was running around and getting into firefights uh, hopefully that gets ironed out there's also way too much HUD clutter when you're getting kills and unlocking stuff at the same time or leveling your weapon there's all this shit that comes up on screen it, it is so distracting like why not just have a clean HUD they have all this crap everywhere uh, like trying to get you that instant dopamine kick when you like unlock a new attachment for your weapon or level up your weapon or some nonsense like that instead of having something that's a little bit more clean uh, and usable, you know? It's just, the HUD is awful. Also, there's a lot of sounds. There's sensory overload when it comes to sounds. Your your character running sounds like he, it's, an, it's a herd of elephants running through a goddamn like plant, a nitroglycerin plant or nuclear plant, and there's explosions everywhere. There's all these ambient noises. It's very hard to pinpoint where enemies are. The sound design is so-so. The guns sound pretty bad as well. The graphics aren't anything to you know go crazy over I mean it's Call of Duty there hasn't been that much improvement in the past years with the graphics of this game there are a few good things about the game I mean I did enjoy myself uh, in two three first matches of playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 where I didn't really see the issues all that much but the more I played it the more issues I found and the more I found myself not enjoying the game as much uh, some of the game modes are pretty bad as well there isn't really any penalty to actually dying in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 even in modes like capture point or stuff like that uh, you can pretty much instantly respawn there's no actual waiting time so if you're playing something like domination or capture point uh, where you for example took out the entire enemy team well they can pretty much instantly respawn and then you have to deal with them again so you're always fighting off hordes and hordes of enemies even when it, and, and you end up killing them but they don't have really any penalty they can just come back pretty much instantly and and hound you again trying to push that objective constantly also before i forget these score streaks are pretty bad i mean there's nothing really new it's the same old recycle of score streaks that you've seen forever in call of duty and i mean there's it's a lot of indirect ways of dying and I'm, I, I'm just not a fan of that anymore maybe I was back in the day and maybe it's the nostalgia kicking in that I want I want Call of Duty to be good but it's just not what caters to my playstyle anymore and I, maybe it's that factor that that makes it so I, that I don't enjoy Call of Duty as much as I used to the slower time to kill was a welcome change. It makes the game feel a little bit better than in previous Call of Duty titles where you didn't really have the time to react if an enemy got the jump on you. Uh, so that felt a little bit better than before. The games loaded pretty fast. That was good. I didn't have to wait a long time. It did, however, crash for no apparent reason every now and then. It uh, didn't even give me an error code. The menus were all right. Uh, I used to have a big gripe with the Call of Duty menus. They weren't all that great. The menus are okay. But generally speaking, I don't know, I, I, 
Call of Duty just isn't my jam anymore. I tried it out anyways because of the stuff that they were changing in all this. Uh, Blackout might be okay. I really don't know. I want to try it out. I want to see what they have to offer. But I feel like Call of Duty is just trying to take pieces from a lot of games that have a large audience and piece them all into their own games, such as the the very successful hero or an operator system from Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege, the very popular BR mode from games such as PUBG and Fortnite. But I don't know. I just feel like Call of Duty has lost its way long ago. Um, but then again, maybe I just outgrew the Call of Duty series and just don't enjoy the run and gun gameplay that Call of Duty have to offer anymore. But then again, it isn't very much run and gun when explosives and indirect ways of fire and all these crazy ways of getting one shot kills on your enemy isn't really run and gun after all. So let me know in the comments down below if you tried out Call of Duty Black Ops 4, if uh, you enjoyed it or not, if you're going to try out the blackout mode if there is an open beta, I'm not quite sure if there will be. Now I know this is quite different from my regular uh, content, uh, I don't really put out Call of Duty gameplay out like ever, but I really did want to give Call of Duty Black Ops 4 a chance because it did seem like there was some innovation in here, but it, it, it just doesn't cut it. It'll be a pass for me probably forever. So don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, the dislike button if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I release Battlefield and first person shooter related content pretty much every day, and as always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video, have a good one.